Welcome everyone, welcome to It's All For You Demon, celebrating the fun of being a KISS fan. And tonight, once again, celebrating a fan's story, and that fan is Brant from In My Head. Hey man. Welcome. <laughs> welcome <laughs> again. Welcome oh. to this. Thank you for joining me. I'm going to talk fall 1978. A couple weeks ago, time's flying by. It feels like just a couple weeks ago, but you and I talked summer 1978 and you as a fan in 1978, what you were doing, what you were listening to, how you were wrapped up in KISS in the summer of 1978, wanted to do the same thing today with the fall. So it's the second week of October, you're 10 years old, you're in your bedroom, what are you doing? Um, well, I would have probably been listening to the solo albums. Uh, the solo albums, they just came out in September before, you know, October. And I would have really been diving into the solo albums. And also, I think during this time, I was getting some of the other albums that I didn't have that came out before Alive. And I was, I was starting to discover albums like Hotter Than Hell, uh, the first Kiss album. And, and albums like that. So it was all about Kiss, because Kiss was really the only band that I listened to. I probably still listen to a lot of Elvis, but Kiss was the only band that I listened to during this time. So everything in my world was basically Kiss. So it would have been collecting merchandise, uh, looking in magazines, going to the, it was still would have been going to the store and getting the bubblegum cards and looking at the magazines and trying to hear about anything that you could digest from KISS because we didn't have the internet and KISS wasn't on TV a whole whole lot but there was a bunch of advertisements coming out for the uh, for the for the Phantom of the Park movie so did you have a favorite solo album well I wanted to really like Peter's uh, album being a Peter fan and I was a drummer and so I really wanted to like Peter's but Peters and Jeans, I just didn't get it. I didn't get their albums. And I, um, I gravitated towards Ace, Ace's album and Paul's album. More so Ace's, because Ace's album was just mostly straightforward rock songs. Paul had some slow songs on his album and songs that I really didn't care for, but I did like, you know, Wouldn't You Like to Know Me? I liked It's All Right. I liked Tonight You Belong to Me. And even though uh, Take Me Away Together is one is my favorite Paul Stanley song off of his solo album, I wasn't a big fan of it uh, back then. I remember kind of skipping through some of the songs on his, on his album. Now, you mentioned seeing advertisements. So, obviously, Phantom of the Park was coming out. Take Me to Saturday Night, October 28th, Your House. Saturday night, October 28th at my house, it would have been uh, what we call now, I don't even know if the kids say anymore, off the chain or off the hook <laughs> or whatever. Uh, it would have been because I thought that it was going to be a horror movie because all the advertisements we had seen, we had the TV guide and everything that we had seen in magazines was you'd seen things from the Chamber of Thrills and you saw things where I thought it was going to be a horror movie. And me and my mom were big horror buffs I guess that's where I get my love of horror it's because my mom did like horror movies and we watched a lot of stuff from you know uh, Alfred Hitchcock and Twilight Zone and things like that so uh, I, we had the lights off I remember we had the lights off and I was in that house that I featured in my video and I was there on the floor with a big tub of popcorn in front of me and I was ready for that movie to come on and I remember, I still remember when it, you know, when it came on, on the big TV, wooden TV on the floor. I can still to this day, you know, see myself, a 10 year old kid there, laying there in the floor watching that movie. Do you get that same feeling when you watch it today? I do. I, I, you know, and I get the same feeling that, you know, uh, like, where's Kiss? Because it took them so long to show up. And I remember watching it with my son. We kind of previewed it on my YouTube channel. And you can't watch it on YouTube. You have to watch it on my Facebook page. 
But I remember him saying the same thing I did at 20 years old. My son was going, where's Kiss at? I thought this was a Kiss movie. And it takes them a long time. Mm -hmm. it, I remember taking forever. I remember, you know, they were there at the very beginning, and then they were gone for an hour. Mm -hmm. And I remember getting a little a little frustrated because uh, I wanted to see them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's awesome. So at that time, you were a young kid, and Halloween, as you said, was just a couple days away from the debut of that movie. Were you dressing up as Kiss for Halloween? And how were you doing that? Was it the Collegeville mask or was it the makeup kit? Yeah, it wasn't the it wasn't the makeup kit. I didn't have a kiss your face makeup kit until '79. I don't think it came out. I don't know if it was out in '78 because all the ones I've ever seen it was after the solo albums because all the ones I've ever seen had the solo album mm -hmm. photos on them. But in in '78 in '78 I would have had the the mask and and the suit. And I, might, and I couldn't remember uh, until I talked to my sister. And my sister told me the story about it was the mask and the suit because we were trick-or-treating in her neighborhood. Me and my sister didn't live together. We were trick-or-treating in her neighborhood. And it was a nice neighborhood. And we were running around the neighborhood calling ourselves Ace and Peter. You know, we weren't Brant and Kelly that night. We were Ace and Peter. So we were running around trick-or-treating. And we stopped at this house. Had a, all kinds of... It was really made up, one of those with the smoke machine and the fog and the and the headstones. And we were up on the steps and I guess the man of the house came around the, the side of the porch dressed as Frankenstein. Scared the crap out of me. My sister says I probably took about three steps to the car and I was under the car. And they had to persuade me, the man of the house and everybody came down and was persuading me to get out from under the car because I was petrified. And when I got out, my sister reminded me that I tore the front of my costume all up. The vinyl was all tore up from getting out from under the car. So, but yeah, so first Halloween, I was, uh, I was Peter with the mask on. And we need to find that man today and have him repurchase you a Peter costume off of eBay. It only, yes, costs, it only costs $400 still in yeah. the box. But I, I, I saw the, the boxes. The boxes to me are just as iconic as, mm -hmm. as costumes are. The artwork on those boxes is just amazing. Oh, yeah. And it was kind of like separate artwork from a lot of the products at the time. That Halloween, that Collegeville box artwork, it's kind of different than most anything uh -huh. else you saw on merchandise back then. Uh -huh. So the magic of Halloween's over. You're heading into fall, Thanksgiving, Christmas, were you wanting or hoping for a lot of merchandise for the holidays? Yeah, and we definitely was, I definitely was, and my, all my friends in the neighborhood, we were looking through the catalogs, we were looking in the merchandise forms. I remember laying, my mom got me something from, uh, I remember getting a Peter shirt, I got an Ace shirt. I got the poster, uh, all four posters. I had all four posters from the solo album. I had um, the poster with four of them on it, and I got a had a belt buckle. I think I think I had the the Kiss belt buckle that the Kiss logos in that silver. Oh, the black one. Mm -hmm. The black with the silver, and I got Love Gun somewhere along the way. Love Gun's behind me. I don't have my Kiss one. And, Love Gun, I'm lucky to have it because it's it's probably one of the rare survivors. It and my kiss jacket, if I'll ever find my kiss jacket someday. But yeah, the kiss jacket and all the the trash can and all that stuff was on my list. The the um, the 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 on tour game, the puzzles, the posters, the notebooks, all that stuff was was on a list somewhere to to get. And didn't you say you just meant, you mentioned earlier to me that you had a picture of you with some cassettes? I do, I do. Um, I uh, this would have been this was 1978. This was Christmas 1978, and I had I had all four solo albums on album already, but I had gotten a boombox somewhere along the the line with uh, with a cassette player in it. So I asked my mom for Christmas. One among other things that I got, I asked her for. Uh, 
solo album cassettes and the only two that I asked her for was Gene was uh Paul I didn't ask for Paul's I asked for Peter's and Aces oh that's wild I, I guess because I was just still trying to hold on to the fact that I was a Peter fan uh so this is from this is me and my brother from 1978 and I'll send this to you so you can scan it in I'll scan this to you and send it to you but and I'm holding in my hand you can see the Peter one it and uh the Ace one is kind of flashed out from the flash but uh -huh. that's that's 1978. That's awesome. Christmas morning, me and my brother, right that's there. Awesome. Man, yeah, that's, that, that's the kind of stuff I love, and thank you for sharing that. That's the that's the meat of all of this, and I love it. Um, I do want to talk to you again as we go into winter. Um, I want to talk what you. I want to talk Christmas, the magic of Christmas and Kiss, and I also want to talk what you were expecting as we would go into the return of Kiss. All right, well, if anyone has not subscribed to Brand Studio for Halloween, he also has a Patreon page. Hit him up there, give him some love on that Patreon page, and you can get exclusive material and also even private material that is not readily available. Super cool, super cool. Thank you for hanging out with me. Brant from In My Head. Appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Thank you. I am Rick, and we will talk to you soon.